Mid Journey has four subscription tiers, but which one is the best? We got a free trial, the basic plan, a standard plan, and a beefy pro plan. But there's more to it you should know to get the absolute most out of your subscription. So from their website, you can see that you can either pay month to month, which comes out to $10 a month for the basic plan, $30 for the standard plan, and $60 for the pro plan. Or if you pay for the year up front, you get a 20% discount, meaning you'd pay $96 total for the basic plan, $288 total for the standard plan, or a whopping $576 for the pro plan. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll take a look at all those options and start weighing the pros and cons, what you get, what you're missing, the best way to utilize whatever plan you end up choosing, etc. That's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. So do me a favor. And as soon as you find some sort of value, hit that like button and boost my ego. Let's dive in. With the basic plan, assuming you pay $10 a month, you'll be getting roughly around 200 images a month, which comes out to about 5 cents per image that you generate. If you take 30 days in a month, you're looking at about 6.5 images a day. So you're really going to have to be honed in on what you're looking to generate before you start wasting your roughly 200 images a month allocation. Where things really start to get interesting are the standard and pro plans. At the standard plan, you're looking for about $30 a month or 15 hours of processing time. The pro plan gets you $60 a month for 30 hours of processing time. Something important to note is that the average job the mid-journey bot processes takes about one minute of GPU time to finish creating an image. Then things like upscaling an image or using a non-standard aspect ratio may take more time to process. And lastly, if you're creating variations or using lower quality values, it'll take less time. So what does all of that mean? Super simple math estimates come to about 900 pictures for the standard plans 15 hours and about 1800 pictures for the 30 hours of processing time for the pro plan, meaning that the standards plans image comes out to about 3 cents per image. And actually, the pro plan's image comes out to about three cents per image too. And using our 30 day a month example, the 900 pictures a month comes out to about roughly 30 images a day or roughly 60 images a day for the pro plan. Now you might be asking yourself then, what the heck am I paying extra for? And it's, it's a little bit more than just generating more pictures a month. You'll be getting access to stealth image generation so nobody can publicly see what you're generating. And in addition to that, you get 12 concurrent fast jobs. So instead of three concurrent fast jobs in the standard plan, you get to run more pictures at a time. But honestly, you have to ask yourself, do you really need 12 jobs at a time? Well, maybe it's fast, it's nice, but it does seem a bit extra for that price. And on the note of running things fast, in my opinion, the best way to pay and use mid journey is to get the standard plan and leverage the relax mode. If you have a standard or a pro plan, you can create an unlimited number of images each month in relax mode. Relax mode doesn't cost any GPU time, but the, the job will be placed in a queue based on how much that you use the system. And let me explain. So jobs in relax mode are placed in a queue to be processed as GPUs become more available. Wait times for relax are dynamic, but generally they range between anywhere from zero to 10 minutes per job. So if you use relax mode occasionally, you'll have shorter wait times compared to subscribers that use it more. Uh, this priority currently resets whenever you renew your monthly subscription. So your best bet is to use up all of your fast hours from the standard plan and then lean on relax mode to get some unlimited usage or test your prompts in relax mode and then pivot to the fast mode to export a bunch of higher quality stuff. If you have any questions or you want to dive in deeper into anything else, let me know in the comments below. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.